okay? It says, how's the weather? The very first page, it says, it's a cloudy day. How do we know it's cloudy if you're looking at that? How do you know it's cloudy, Renaya? Because it's a cloud. Because that's clouds. How else do you know it's cloudy, Jakari? Ooh, so you were saying the clouds may be moving, so there might be more coming up, Je uh, Jeffrey? Because the sun ain't out. The sun's not out. Good. Autumn? Because there, there's clouds everywhere. There's clouds everywhere. Also, sometimes when it's sunny outside, you'll wear a hat. Yes. Okay, where, where's his hat? Tell me. You just tell me where it's at. On the ground? It's like on the ground. Yeah, it's right there on the ground. Do you? I mean, sometimes you could wear hats on cloudy days. But we don't really need them on cloudy days, right? Because it's not super, super sunny in our eyes. Okay, so that's how we also know it's a cloudy day. What about this next one? It says, it's a windy day. How do you know it's windy in this picture? Autumn? Because everything's blowing. Because blowing. everything's blowing. Bruce, do you have something else? <coughs> because his hat's flying off his head. Because his hat's flying off his head. Good catch. Um, Michael? Because of the news. Flying over there. Oh, even the news is flying. Adriana? Because the car's flying up. Oh my goodness, and the cars are even flying up too. Let's go to the next page. It says, it's a snowy day. Alright, this one should be pretty easy, Darian. How do you know it's a snowy day? It's all white. It's all white. How else do we know, Malik? Because they have scarves and earmuffs. Ooh, they have scarves and earmuffs. What else do we know? Not that it's just snowy, but what else do you know? What happens when you have to wear those scarves or um, earmuffs or an ayah? Because it's cold. Because it's cold. Ooh, I think we're getting closer. Brandon, did you have something to say? And there's also a snowman. Oh, and there's also the snowman. Yeah, okay. All right, the next one says, it's a foggy day. How do we know it's foggy outside? Trenton? in the picture that could tell you that it's foggy outside or that it's a foggy day. Okay, because it's a little bit dark. Good. Brayden? Because the wind is like blackish color. Ooh, so do you think that's going to be wind? Or what do you think no. that is? Wow. Brittany? Foggy. Yeah, it's kind of foggy. So when it's foggy outside, I told you all one day when I came to school, I could barely see anything in front of me. It's because it's foggy kind of makes the air, it doesn't make it as clear as it normally is, so it's foggy. All right, it says, it's a rainy day. This one should be super easy. I'm going to call in one person for this one. Uh, Lacey. Because there's rain on the Because there's rain. All right, it says, it's a sunny day. Gage. Because the sun's out. Sunny out. What else do you notice about maybe what they're wearing that some of them weren't wearing the last couple of pictures, Malik? Sunny day. I know in our snowy day they had scarves and earmuffs. What do you notice about the sunny day? Okay, they don't. And why do you think that, Adriana? Because they got this. Okay, but why do you think they're wearing that, Renaya? Because it's sunny. Because it's sunny and what happens in the summer? I know you're all bundled up. It's usually what what. So that's because it was warm. So think about our field trip real quick. What was the reason again that we couldn't go outside or couldn't go to the field trip? Jakari? Because of the weather. Because of the weather. What about the weather? Autumn? It was cold. It was cold. So now I want you to think. Here's your opinion. Do you think, I want you to raise your hands again, do you think we should have gone on the field trip even if it was still as cold as it was? Do you think we should have gone? Raise your hand. 
Okay, put your hands down. Do you think we should not have gone, that we made a good choice not to go because it was cold? I know okay. why we could have gone. I'm glad that the, or that the class is like split in two because we're going to go over to this chart and think of reasons why we should have gone on the field trip and reasons why we shouldn't have gone. So for those who think we should have gone, give me some reasons why we should have gone on the field trip. Renaya? Because what? Because what? It wasn't cold to you? Okay, so maybe it wasn't cold to some students. So maybe you came to school and you're like, it's not even really that cold. Okay, so we're still on this part. Reasons why we should have gone to the game. So for those who raise your hands, why do you think, Autumn? Because it would have been fun. Because it would have been fun. Okay, so it would have been fun. What's another one, Brandon? I think we should have gone because it was cold. Oh, okay, so you're on the shouldn't part? So you think because it's cold, we should not have gone, right? Okay. I'm going to say it was cold. Okay, why else should we have not gone then? Or maybe that we should have gone, Brayden? We could have got frostbite. Oh, frostbite. What else? Frostbite. I'll put frostbite. So you think it might have been so cold that we could have gotten frostbite in Louisville, well, Kentucky. I know. What's that? That would be one cold what day. It's like if you're so, so cold, your fingers start turning purple, and then they start turning black. You're just ah. freezing. You're so cold. You can't move anything. You're just frozen. Because All right, what do you think, I Emily? Think this, um, Ooh, and you know what? I love how you just said that, that we should have went because. Now she's going to explain. There's her opinion now. She's giving you the reason. The weather was super cold. Okay, so it was cold. I'll put even like a little super over here because you thought it was super cold. All right, who can give me another reason that may not be up here? Jeffrey? Okay, so we should have gone because the rest of the day we would have been warm if we just went for a little bit. Is that what you're saying? Okay, so we only would have been cold for a little bit. We only would be cold for a little bit. I'm going to take one more. Ooh, I hope everyone's sitting correctly and is crisscross so they're in learning position. You keep telling me what to do. Let's make sure that we're focused up here. Cold. Keep on talking. Okay, Trin, why don't you move up to that yellow spot right in front of you? That'll help a little bit. All right, one last one, Jakari. You should, you're going to be able to write about it. You should go because. You what? Oh, you wanted to see who won? Alright. So you wanted to see the game, right? Alright. To see the game. Okay, so do you all think that you're going to have the same opinion about everything? Yeah. No. So do you think if you went back to your seat, it's okay to have a different opinion than the person sitting next to you? Yeah. Or maybe you might no. be the only one at your table that has a different opinion than anyone else. Do you think that's okay? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so what we're going to do today is we're going to practice our Oreo opinion writing. Oreo. Okay, so like I told you all, I know it's going to be double stuffed because we want a lot of information explaining Oreo. why we think we should have gone to the game or shouldn't have gone. Oreo. So... Our opinion, our very first sentence we're going to write, you are going to tell, I'm going to wait until everyone's quiet, you're going to tell me about how you feel about the topic, which means how do you feel about the field trip? Do you think we should have gone or do you think, I don't think we should have gone, okay? You're going to give me your reasons, and it also says examples, so you're giving details of why we should have gone or why we shouldn't have, and then you're going to tell your opinion one last time. It's like icing on the cake. You want to tell 
that person one last time to try and convince them this is why I think what I think. Okay? You can use sentence starters like, in my opinion, blah, 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 I think this. I feel that the game was too cold. I believe we should have gone to the game. These are all different sentence starters that you could use to get your mind thinking about what you want to do. Go ahead and turn to me really quick. Yes, Molly? Oh, I'm about to show you. All right. So what you're going to see on this paper is you're going to be able to, it gives you, do you think we should have gone on the field trip? So it's giving you your question. Then you're going to write your opinion. Michael, make sure you're paying attention. Ooh, I want everyone, to, hang on, let's check our bodies real quick in three, two, one. Ooh, looking good, looking good. Gage, put it in your pocket. All right, so your opinion, you're telling me. I sh we should have gone on the field trip. We should not have gone on the field trip. You're going to give me your reasons. One, two, three. Okay, so that can be a sentence, that can be a sentence, and that can be a sentence. Tell me... Tell me why you think we shouldn't or should have gone, Brittany. Then the last one, it says closure. It means you're closing out your writing. You're going to tell me your opinion one last time. It might look exactly like the first one, saying that we should have gone or we shouldn't have gone. Okay? Then on the back, I want you to do a quick self-assessment, which means you're telling me it's kind of like when we do this, but you're going to do it on paper this time. So you're going to color in if you thought, this was hard. Or if you thought, I think this is okay, but I could use a little bit more work on opinion writing. Or if you think, we are A-okay, I'm good to go, I know all about opinions, and I could write all day about opinions. Okay? Then at the bottom, I want you to draw a picture to match. So if you said you wanted to go to the baseball game, I want you to draw a picture. Show me what it would look like if we went. Okay? And we know what it looks like because we were able to watch a little bit of the video. Or if you think we shouldn't have, Draw a picture of what we should have been doing instead of the baseball game. Okay? That's what I want you to do. So you're, what are we writing about, Brayden? Opinions. Okay, but what, what's the question? What's the question, Bruce? What are we writing about? If we should go to the baseball game or not? There you go. We should go to the field trip or not. Okay, while you're working, remember to reread those sentences to make sure they make sense. <clears throat> All right, I'm going to go ahead and pass this out. I want you to grab your